Hi, I'm Leanne and this is Gemma. We are makeup artists from Crylan. As you can see, my eyes are done and we're gonna finish the makeup by doing my face. We're gonna be using one of our best selling products, which is TV Paint Stick. So Gem, do you wanna explain how you can yeah, Sure. This? So TV Paint Stick is one of our renowned Crylan products. It's the best selling product worldwide and it's used in so many different aspects across the professional makeup industry. It's known for being a full coverage, long lasting, longevity, works well in heat and different climates. But today I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how we can show you a more um, fresh, dewy effect yeah. with this paint stick because it is so versatile and I want you to be able to get the best out of this product. So first of all, I'm gonna cleanse Leanne's skin to prepare the skin for the makeup application. So the first thing I'm gonna use a product called Aqua Cleanse, water-based um, cleansing remover. Great for anyone that has oily skin. Just gently take that on all over. So for those of you that are not familiar with the TV Paint Stick, it's a highly concentrated pigment uh, cream foundation. Let me show you the actual product so you know exactly what we're gonna be demonstrating with today. So to begin with, we've cleansed the skin and I wanna add some moisture and a primer. My ultimate primer I go to, especially when working with TV Paint Stick to get a good um, finish to the makeup, is to work with the Kyanon Ultra Under Base. I'm gonna give that a good shake and just decant that. Yeah, and again, this is amazing for a dual purpose product. So rather than having to do your cleansing, toning, moisturizing, then prime, it does two in one. So it's your primer as well as your moisturizer. Um, generally, I would say avoid anyone with oilier skins, but from normal combination to dehydrated, it's perfect. It instantly adds a glow to the skin, and I feel that's what definitely is the trend at the moment, is to have this dewy, yeah, fresh definitely. skin. I'm actually glad we're coming away from the matte finish. It's all about the glow, which is nice. Yeah, absolutely. And Liam, you do tend to have, I hope you don't mind me saying, <laughs> more of a, a matte skin, don't you? Yeah, definitely. So this is really works, Leanne. And hopefully in the camera already, you can see that it just adds this gloss. So it's really important that you understand which <clears throat> primers to use in conjunction with your TV paint stick. Do you want that glossy, dewy finish or do you want a matte finish? So you can adapt the primers that you use in order to achieve a different finish to the paint stick. Okay, so the color I'm gonna work for, for Leanne, um, I'm gonna be showing you a foundation, highlight, contour, and how it conceals as well. So the colour we're using for Leanne is ELO. Um, it's quite a warm undertone for Leanne. Let's give her a lovely glow. Yeah, I think that's really good to know. I mean, Gemma's using one product in three different ways. It's an extremely versatile product. So we've used it on many different seasons for fashion week. We've used it in uh, drag based makeups, theatrical based makeups. It's extremely popular for Asian bridal. So it just shows you across the board. It's so know, versatile, isn't yeah. it? So I'm gonna warm the product onto the back of my palette for hygiene reasons here. I've just decanted that. However, if you're a consumer, I know lots of um, mm. uh, clients of ours, they use it direct onto the face, so it's absolutely fine as well. I think as well, it changes the actual consistency of the base. If you're going directly from the stick, you're gonna find a much more um, denser, dry consistency. Once you start to blend and um, you know melt down the actual stick itself, you'll get a much more creamy texture. So I think depending on skin that you're working on, that can help with the application. You don't need um, a lot of this product. So a small amount goes a very long way because of how highly concentrated the pigment is of it. I'm gonna show you two little new tricks that you can work this product with to get a different finish. One, you can add this product here. This is called Makeup Blend. This is a mixing medium. You add one to two drops of this and this becomes a fluid consistency and it really helps to work the product in and give you a bit more of a sheer finish. The second option is you can introduce this product here called Shimmering Event Foundation. It's a little bottle of magic. Isn't it's it just? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like, we literally bathe ourselves in this because <laughs> it just gives such a gorgeous glow. Um, I would say this is my personal favourite colour, this is golden beige. However, if you have a more warmer complexion, I would recommend the gold. Um, yeah, bronze is lovely. Bronze is beautiful. And then if you're more porcelain, lighter skinned, mm. pearl and silver. But this uh, product, I will talk about it just because it is, like we said, mm -hmm. one of our favourite. You can put it underneath foundation, mix it in with foundation, or if you really want a higher shine onto the skin, you put it on top of the foundation. Yeah. 
like me and Leanne said, we bathe in it, so we put it on the <laughs> of our body. <laughs> right. I like to start at the centre of the face. But definitely collarbones, legs, arms, anything you want to give that real intense high shine, it just really absorbs that light and gives you a beautiful reflection. Okay, we're about, we're about one shade warmer on this complexion, but it's giving you a really gorgeous glow. Um, by mixing that shimmering event in with the paint stick, it's giving us a glossy finish. And I, I don't know for you, but me as a makeup artist, I love playing around and mixing products and achieving different results and being able to not have to buy an array of different foundations, but mm -hmm. adding one other product to it to, like, to achieve different finishes, should we yeah, say? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, you know, because it's so versatile, when you're on set, on a job, if you're doing anything for your bridals, um, occasions, you don't want to have to take a hundred different foundations. You want one foundation that does it all across the ball. <laughs> one does plenty. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> but it's true. We don't want to break our backs carrying a thousand bottles of something. So we want to show you how versatile the TV paint stick can be. So I'm using two brushes here to apply. Um, first of all, I've got the Blue Master range brushes, uh, a flat brush. Um, as I mentioned, I like to start from the centre of the face and diffuse the foundation really lightly here. And why would you say you do that, Jen? What do you mean? Why do I do that? Why would you normally start in the centre? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was like, she's questioning me here. Um, you start from the centre of the face. And for me, you find that most of the coverage mm -hmm. would be here. It would be around the, under the eye area. Lots of people have redness here, redness around the nose. So you want most of the coverage here and then it will diffuse as you come to the outer edges of the face. You find that you don't want to have a massive build up around mm -hmm. here. And I think it's super important that we don't just mask the face. As people are so used to just layering it all on and then buffing it mm -hmm. through. I think you need to analyse the face and see, actually Leanne's got a gorgeous forehead here. She don't need much product, but it's just a minimal amount. And then this second brush I'm using, um, it's so impact dense with hair, it's unreal. Uh, it polishes, I love that, that saying, it yeah. polishes the skin. And I want the skin to look like skin. Mm -hmm. And it's so soft and gentle. These are our new vegan brushes by Krylon. Yeah, for those who are massive fans of things like beauty blenders, um, as we all know, in certain occasions, we, they're not always as practical, um, especially if it's not going to be on a personal use. These brushes imitate that. They give you such a gorgeous finish. Thank you. No streaks, completely flawless. And speed. How many times have we been on jobs yeah. and we're under that pressure to get so many models or clients ready? And you can literally, you know, if I weren't picking up the first brush, you can go in and just quickly turn. And for hygiene purposes, right, they're a lot better hygiene than a beauty blender. Take it all the way down. This is just the excess now on my brush. Okay, look forward. So there's the foundation, the base, and thank you, Leanne, doing that lovely pose. <laughs> it just shows the glow and the coverage that we've got there. Okay, so now we've completed the base with the TV paint stick. Remember, we mixed it with the Shimmering Event Foundation to add more glow and to sheer it down. I'm now gonna go and add some highlight. The highlight's gonna add brightness to the face and it's also gonna help to conceal, especially under this eye area. Now, my favorite color I like to work with in the TV paint stick to highlight with is ivory. I think depending on skin tone, under eye circles, you know, what you're working with. I tend to go for more of a yellow one for my complexion. I know that you tend to go for more of a peachier one, don't you? Yeah, your absolutely. Complexion. My colouring tends to have a bit more of a pinky mm -hmm. undertone anyway. I find that pinkier undertones for me brighten the area, mm -hmm. whereas it'll be fighting against for you. And I think uh, undertones is such an important understanding of makeup industry. And you know, you shouldn't follow all of the things where it says, oh, you should use a colour corrector, you know, analyse the face. Mm -hmm. Does it need counteracting if there is any darker undertones that we need to vanish? The impact that the paint sticks have anyway, they, they tend to um, cover and neutralise by themselves. There is over 250 shades within the range. Um, so, you know, there's definitely something out there for everyone. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's such a worldwide product, isn't it? So, because mm -hmm. Krylon are over in you know, 80 different countries, they have to cater for different complexions. And that's why we love the paint stick. Again, I'm doubling up with my brushes. 
and I'm changing my action here is a little bit more of a, a stipple and you can see instantly how much we've highlighted underneath the eye. So I'm going for um, more of a flat brush to really have that control in the placement. Taking it all the way up onto the cheekbones to highlight that part of the face. That feel okay? Mm -hmm. I don't put highlight absolutely everywhere. I just see where I maybe want to brighten or bring out some of the facial features. We want to bring out Leanne's cheekbones. We want them to pop, right? <laughs> Um, I don't do too much highlight. Leanne would probably kill me if I highlighted too much on the nose. Mm -hmm. um, she has a petite forehead, so we could take some brightness and highlight here, just to widen the forehead. Yeah, if I was to do my nose, I kind of go down just the center, but I try not to enhance the tip of my nose. <laughs> it's a personal thing. <laughs> we're just a little bit here, right? But oh, we're talking minimal amount. Mm -hmm. So you can see, and I'm gonna start to buff and blend that in a little bit further. So this brush I'm working with, it's, it's a lot more smaller here. Uh, this is article number, sorry, I'm covering it with my hand, 8933. If not, go in with your finger. Your finger is such a good tool and the warmth of that will definitely warm the area up. And it's quite nice to do this around the eye because you can feel the pressure and it's not so discomfort for your model, your client. You know, this is personal preference. If you prefer a strong highlight, build the layers, or if you want to shear it down, then blend it further. I can see my little pinky go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we are, this is the camera for me. Perfect. So now we're gonna move on to our third step using the TV paint stick and that is to contour. We can also bronze the skin, add some warmth and depth to Leanne's face with this next color. Um, one of my favorites, I'm selecting all of my favorites to show you is the DIN TV paint stick. It's quite a warm undertone. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say it's, more, it's got, actually I see yellow and orange yeah. undertones in there so if I'm warm in a complexion I don't want to see too much ash and it to go grey. Yeah I tend to stay away from all the colder colours and, and I stick to much more warmer so Din and Lin, L-I-N, are the most popular popular colours. Okay um, be mindful it's highly pigmented you do not need a, a lot of this for when contouring. Yeah, if you're new to contouring and highlighting also with any cream based products, just remember the cream will travel. The more you put on, the more you've got to work with. So less is more in this case. Actually, I'm going to use a different brush here. I need something a little bit more fluffier. So the softer brush means I'm not going to get as much dense transfer. If I had a, a more closed hair brush, then it would be quite an impact. So I don't want that. I really want it to fuse as soon as I go. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna turn your head here, thank you. I'm gonna place the contour underneath the cheekbone, but it's as soon as I make that contact, I want it to blend upwards. Now, if we were doing drag makeup, we would 100% probably go in with a stick direct mm -hmm. and it'll be a very strong contour. Yeah, depends on lighting. So for stage, for instance, you know, you're always gonna do that makeup stronger, you're gonna be less blended. So you can then, you know, work out how much product you need to work with. So this is minimal amount. And I love working with creams because I think you get a beautiful blend. And if you make a mistake, you can keep working mm. it into the skin. If you go direct with a powder um, and you've gone in, sometimes it, the powder will just grab to the cream instantly. And then you really have a trouble trying to reduce that. Mm. And it's just much more of a natural shadow rather it being a textured surface. That's really nice. Nice, beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit around the jawline so this helps to frame the face. Really soft brushes, I think, is definitely the key for this so you get a good turn in the product. I'm not a big fan of contour down the nose. Um, you might want to just put a light tiny bit across the tip. Uh, 
literally a sweep, like don't overly apply it and structure yeah, onto the nose. It can be quite dangerous when you start contouring the nose, especially if it's not necessary, it can look more pinched, you can make the nose look slightly more broken. You can give someone a complex yeah, as well, right? <laughs> But yeah, it's like, yes, Gemma. Easy, out you go. <laughs> instant make that contact and you begin to so literally it's such minimal amount of application and look at the payoff I'm gonna turn my head so thank you very much and blend upwards onto that cheekbone you may want to bring it slightly around the hairline it's beautiful and let's again frame around the jawline add some colour really as well, this is nice. So it brings all of the attention to Leanne's features of her face. So it's really nice to show you this in a more natural effect. And um, we've mentioned to you that we can use it for drag makeup. Drag, um, for drag makeup people love it because it helps to disguise what's known as the five o'clock shadow because it's highly pigmented. So an Asian bridal we find um, it's extremely popular, it's very heat resistant, it has good stability as well. You know, you have to contend with a lot in Asian bridal with um, jewellery, with the lenga. So it's a really nice compliment as well, especially if the eye makeup's quite heavy, just to give you that full um, finished look. I'm feeling really fabulous. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> Everyone has their personal preferences, right, to make up. Like, yeah, we might want it less or more. So, we'll just play around with that. But you can never have too much contour. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Okay, so base is done. We've done highlight, contour, conceal, and now we're gonna fix, right? Absolutely. You don't have to fix the makeup. It's a personal preference. If you wanna keep it really dewy, mm. then you, you can leave it at that. There's no rule to say set the makeup. Yeah. However, if you want longevity, then I would suggest setting the makeup. I'm gonna use this powder here, which is called Jewel Finish. My favorite. It's gorgeous, mm -hmm. right? Um, I use this on myself on a daily basis as well. I love to highlight with it, contour with it, bronze, put it as an eyeshadow, super versatile. So I'm gonna set the makeup and enhance all of the um, highlight and contour that we've done yeah. with the paint stick. And for those that don't wear any fluids or cream-based foundations, you can use this powder wet as well as dry, um, just with a damp sponge and you can kind of buff it and stipple it onto the skin and it gives you a really gorgeous, flawless finish. And the one thing I love personally about this powder, it doesn't um, break. You can really kind of layer it on top of creams, you can work back on top of it and it just gives you such a flawless finish. Yeah, it adds that little bit more coverage if you need. And mm. we're in control. I'm mapping around with the colours, depending on the colours that I'm seeing on Leanne's skin. I even find if my skin's either really dehydrated, if I've had a breakout, it seems more textured. It gives that kind of airbrush finish to your makeup. It just smooths over that surface, which is uh, really handy sometimes. <laughs> And I'm more of a pressed powder. I mean, there is options out there for you if you prefer a loose. We have the translucent powder, which is a really high talc consistency. So that's gonna be much more absorbent if you're using it in a heavier coverage. So for those using it for a theatrical base, for drag makeup, then you do have the option to really kind of press the powder in with a puff and lock that foundation in. So I'm really avoiding all of this gorgeous shine we've achieved on the cheeks. Um, adding a little bit more of a lighter tone underneath to enhance that contour around the nose area yeah for rule of thumb if you don't want to set the whole base just make sure you're always focusing down the t-zone sides of the nose um you don't want them to look overly glossy you kind of want to keep them as matte as possible and then while i'm setting this i'm also amplifying the color of the contour as well Oh, I think I went a little strong there. See what I mean about powders? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the good thing about the jewel. You can keep buffing it and it comes away and it doesn't break like I said earlier. Leanne's going to love this though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Stronger the better. So it's just nice to show you different powders as well on top of the TV paint stick. To add another form of powder, I'm going to introduce Glamour Glow. 
This is a versatile again product, and that's what I love about Kryl, and they're so always thinking of a makeup artist, how you can get the most out of your products. So I'm setting effectively this dewy area with this product called Glamour Glow. And I'm gonna pick up a few of these goldy warm tones and just place that over the cheekbones. So the palette that Gemma's actually working from is the Elegance palette uh, from the Glamour Glow range. We do have many different op options and selections, so there's always something for every, again, skin tone, complexion, and occasion. It just adds, literally what it says, a glow to the skin. Without it looking to, um, you know, you can get some highlights that look really texturized and gritty, it makes the skin look like skin and it's giving you that natural glow. Well, I think that's the important thing to remember. We talk about highlight a lot. We talk about products that um, add shine. This is a glowing product, so this gives you more of that kind of soft halo effect to the skin without it being too prominent and too distracting from the rest of the makeup. For brides, it's amazing. Mm, it photographs so nicely. And I think a key with this product is not to keep adding, actually it's just to keep buffing and turning it into the skin. There we are. Still glowy enough? Mm -hmm. Why don't we add a little lip just to finish you off? Touch of this. Marry that colour on your eyes beautifully. Here we are, guys. We hope you've enjoyed our talk and demonstration on TV Paint Stick. Please feel free to ask any questions and have a great day. Thank you.